Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Air Force P11 gaming headset. Before we start, it should be noted that this headset is only compatible with the PS3, PC, and Mac. Xbox 360 owners should check out the P21, which has compatibility across the board for only about $10 more. First off, I'd like to point out that I've seen a fair number of written reviews and plenty of unboxing videos for this headset. I've only seen vague accounts of how this hardware performs on recent games that use high quality directional audio. Considering this is a headset made for gamers, I felt that it was necessary to be a little more concise because many of us are on a budget and such reviews barely help us decide on one piece of tech over another. This is my third headset since 2009. The first one was an HS980 Fatality Gaming headset, which after a year of use suddenly snapped. And the second one was a Pulse Wave 2, which started failing after just 6 months of use. So I was looking for a headset at a budget price and decided to order the P11. The first thing I noticed after the unboxing is how light the headset is. Both the HS980 and Pulse Wave 2 were kind of heavy, which is somewhat understandable because they were their large headsets, but also a little distracting. The P11 is so light you hardly notice it on your head. This is made even more comfortable by the extra padding around the ears and on top of your head. Because of that, it never seems to slip. I play a lot of games and there hasn't been any need to stop and adjust the headset back to a more comfortable position. A very common problem with headsets is that they eventually start hurting your ears at their extended use. Let's face it, many of us gamers are known to sit in front of a screen playing a good game for several hours, so extended use is almost guaranteed. From personal experience, I haven't had any pain yet. The ear padding is very soft and cuts your ears without squeezing down on them. I could say without a doubt that as far as comfortability is concerned, the P11 outshines both of my previous headsets. Now to the most important part, the sound quality. Keep in mind I tested this on my PC, but I suspect it's not that much different on the PS3. Although this is a gaming headset, it still sounds great with other media like music and videos. So if you're checking out Let's Play videos on YouTube or something, you have nothing to worry about. You'll hear every detail. However, gaming is what this headset was made for and that is where it shines. Most games use directional audio these days to improve the atmosphere. To get the headset a good test, I started up Dead Space 2 which uses high quality audio to significantly increase the creepiness of the experience. I had just weeks before played the game with Pulse Wave 2, so I had something to compare it to. I heard things with the P11 that I never picked up with my Pulse Wave 2. Everything that the developers want you to hear, you're going to hear all around you. I have to admit it, I'm a complete baby when it comes to horror games. I'm easily freaked out and I scream like a little girl when monsters jump out of nowhere to perforate me. I played through the entire game with my Pulse Wave 2 and only jumped maybe a few times, played it with my P11 and embarrassed myself on multiple occasions. A man should never make sounds like those. For anyone who wants to experience audio how it's meant to be, you're not going to be disappointed with the P11. There are certainly better ones out there, but they usually cost twice as much. As for the other features, you have a control box that gives you volume control for both the audio and your microphone. Another small but very useful feature is the mic monitor, which is, allows you to hear yourself when you're talking into the mic. This lets you know if you're being too loud, and it's surprising how few headsets have this feature. As for the quality of the microphone, I think that's for you to judge. I've been using it for this entire review. I'd say it's just fine for games, but probably not great for reviews. The only bad thing I had to say about the P11 is the incredibly thin wire in the cheaply made control box. An accidental yank looks like it could tear the wire right out of the earphone, and the plastic of the control box looks like it could snap in two from very minimal pressure. If you buy this headset, handle it with care. 
If you're looking for a great headset at a budget, you won't be disappointed with the P11. I bought this from Amazon for only $50, which is an affordable price and well worth the money. Turtle Beach made a fine product, and if I ever need a new headset in the future, I'll certainly check out what they have first. For a detailed description of the features, please check out the link below. If you found this review helpful, then tell me. I was thinking of doing more of them in the future. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.